Hello, in this video I am going to talk with you or talk, I am going to actually explain and go through what a integer is in C and what an integer is in general. So an integer is a number and you sometimes call it an int, actually a lot of the time in coding you will call it ints and an integer can only be a whole number. So four, five, six, minus two, minus three, zero or are all valid integers 4.5 is not a valid integer you would use something like a float data type and again that's another probably key term that you're hearing maybe for the first time data type so integer is a form of data type it's one data type float is another data type which is numbers that can also be you know decimals a bool is another data type which is true and false again i'm gonna have videos covering all the different data types chars which is a character is another data type it's basically what format a piece of data is essentially and yeah we're just gonna cover you know how to use integers in c so first of all we're gonna do a hash include technically to just create an integer variable you do not need a hash include but because we're going to be printing stuff out and checking the min and max value we'll we need a few of these so we're going to put stdio.h and if remember this is a standard input output we're going to put one more this is going to be called limits.h and this will allow us to see what the maximum and minimum value an integer can have. You might be thinking it's a number, make it as big as you want. Unfortunately, that's not the case because in computers, there is something called memory where the actual data is stored. You are also, you know, bound by the sort of process architecture you have. So essentially, you will have an upper limit of how big your number can be and a, and a lower limit as well. You might be thinking, will that restrict you? Technically, yes, but in reality, because there are other data types like long and long, long, which I'll cover in a separate video, you can make bigger numbers if you want to. And most of the time, you won't run into any problems, as long as you use the correct data type. So first of all, we're going to just say printf, and we're going to printf the maximum and minimum values that an integer can take and this could potentially differ depending on what process architecture you have most of the time integers are four bytes and if i just put int min and to actually print out an integer put percent i you can put percent d as well you will see that a lot i prefer percent i just because it you know you're just like ah i meaning integer and for a comma int underscore min and this would hash define is from here okay and we'll copy and paste this and we'll call this int max do just change that to max save that and let's give it a run see what we get so here here is what we have it is saying the minimum value that an integer can be is what Ooh, that's pretty big thousand million billion so minus two billion one hundred and forty seven million four hundred eighty three thousand six hundred and forty eight the biggest value an integer can be is two billion one hundred and forty seven thousand four hundred eighty three six hundred and four no sorry two billion one hundred and forty seven million four hundred eighty three thousand six hundred and forty seven didn't say it properly you might also notice they're almost the exact same if you was to ignore the a negative sign and yeah that's going to be the case it's always going to be essentially that minus one again that's not the technical way but it's one of the ways i like to you know remember if you remember one of them okay so now that we've got that how do we actually create an integer variable so it's all well and good doing a printf but if we want to manipulate it we're probably going to want a variable put the keyword int and then you put let's say the name of your variable space the name so let's say num1 and the spaces here are just optional, but it helps just, you know, aesthetically speaking, it creates better looking code, equals, and then you can assign a value five. And then you always end it with a semicolon. Bear in mind, you don't need to assign a value. You could just end it with a semicolon. And um, obviously, you, it's dependent on what your, I guess, 
your CPU, your com I mean your compiler, what thou will automatically set the value to. So always good to set some initial value, even if it's zero. So let's say if we say equal five, and we could print that. Out. So printf, and remember to print a integer. You just put percent i backslash n comma num one, and that's what you gotta do. If we run it. We get five. Fantastic. So now let me cover a if you want to you know add variables together. Say if we create another one int num two equals ten. And imagine if we've got these numbers, let's say via some sort of user input like scanf, for example. Feel free to do that as an extra task. And if we want to add them together, we we'll say int result equals instead of five plus ten, we do num one plus num2 so regardless of what num1 and num2 is you'll you know calculate the result to print this we could do printf and we're going to format this a bit so i'm going to say percent i in quotation marks percent i plus percent i equals percent i and comma num1 num2 comma result save that give it a run and it says 5 plus 10 equals 15 if I was to change the 5 to an 8, and you'll now say 8 plus 10 equals 18. So that's really it for integers. There's not much more to know than that. There's other stuff like short integers, long integers, long, long integers, signed versus unsigned. I'm going to have separate videos covering that. So feel free to check out the next few videos that will cover all that. But in terms of just a raw integer, I mean, it's pretty much it. One thing I do want to mention, because we know, let me put this up a bit. We know the min and max. What would happen if we can ignore this line for now? If for this one, we put the max. So if I put the max right here, what do you think is going to happen? And we print it out. It prints it out. That's looking pretty good. What if we add one to it? Technically, this is not valid based on the min and max. So what do you think is going to happen? An error? No error. It's showing a negative value. And the negative value is the exact same as the minimum. Some of you may already know what's happening, but let me explain it one step further. What if I do a nine? So we've added two to the int max. Is this just going to become negative 2,147,483,649? Well, we'll see. Run it. No. So it's, it's not going down in the negative. It's going up. So, you know, remember if you add 1 to a negative, the physical number itself looks like it's going down if you don't factor in the sign. So what is happening there? So what's happening is something called an overflow error uh, or just overflow is really obvious could you call it an error it's overflow and because it's gone above this it's reverted back around to the minimum which in this case is this and because if he goes over two it reverts back around to this that's one and then two would be the one the 47 that's what happens if you do a really large number it'll keep overflowing if it has to so if the number is so large that he one overflow is not enough it will overflow multiple times so just bear that in mind i wanted to cover that if you especially if you're getting data from an external source and something's happening and you're just like unexpected results make sure your data type can it's mainly with numbers that you have this issue it, it can actually store the data that you're wanting to store you might think integer whole number this is a whole number should work but it's not always the case so with something like that you might want a long or a long long and that sounded a bit weird but yeah you might want one of them but that's it if you have any questions feel free to join the discord group there's a link in the description over four or five members several programming channels also in the description there is a link to the github page which has all the source code from every video that we actually you know use source code when i'm just discussing stuff i'm not coding or setup it's not really got any source code there but everything else you got code Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.